A blessed evening to everyone, to all of you who are here and those who are joining us in our worship through this live streaming. One of the uh, feasts of the church that has so many names or titles is our feast today. It is officially known as the Presentation of the Lord, which occurs uh, 40 days after uh, uh, Jesus' birth. It is also called Candle Mass Day. Thus, we have the, uh, in uh, Tagalog, taken from Spanish, of course, is the uh, El Dia de la Candelaria, no? The, 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 uh, that's why we have several parishes with that name, Candelaria. No? And uh, it is associated with what we have just done, the uh, blessing of the candles, lighted candles, and the procession, which we continue to do. Uh, earlier, before the reform of the liturgy, and the liturgical calendar in the 60s, this feast was called the Feast of the Purification of Mary, as we have heard also in the Gospel, part of the Gospel the tradition. And uh, it is considered still as part of Christmas, actually. That's why in uh, some places there are traditions christian traditions that uh, they would stretch christmas until today you know? they keep for example the the nativity creche or the belen until today you know? and the christmas decorations tayo nagmamadali ng alisin kasi ang haba nga naman ng christmas natin and uh, one of the uh, newest, I think, uh, name, title of this uh, celebration is the Feast of the Encounter. You must have uh, noticed that the word encounter is repeated in the, in the prayer today as we bless the, uh, the candles. No? And... Uh, some parishes, for example, are no, called Parroquia del Encuentro, no, the, uh, the parish of the encounter. And uh, also today, the, uh, it is also called the, uh, uh, or established by Pope uh, Saint uh, John Paul II in 1997, as the World Day of Prayer for Consecrated Life, or this is the, uh, a prayer for uh, those who have been called to religious life, the religious, that's why they, this uh, gatherings of uh, religious today and prayer, no, the uh, emphasizing the importance of uh, holiness in religious life. So with these names now, Presentation of the Lord, Purification of Mary, uh, Candle Mass, Candelaria, Encuentro, Encounter, etc. Expresses precisely the, the richness of this feast and the, the rich meaning of this. In this event, of the uh, presentation of Jesus in the temple, we find that it is full of characters and it represents a, uh, a kind of a summary or a panorama of the mysteries we celebrate and we have, we have celebrated and contemplated in Christmas, the incarnation of uh, 
the Son of God, and His birth. Jesus goes in this uh, event. We find that Jesus goes to the Father's house, the temple, where He meets Simeon, who was moved by the Spirit and foretells the passion and the resurrection of Christ and the eternal plan of salvation. So in this, we see that the whole mystery of Christ is uh, summarized in a way, is highlighted. Not only his birth, but also the dimension now of his future passion and resurrection. In the last line of uh, today's uh, gospel account of St. Luke, we have here the uh, humanity of Jesus, which grows and develops. We have also the humanity of Mary participating in the passion of Christ that Mary is one with her son. And we have the humanity also of Joseph who provides an earthly family with Jesus and Mary, a place of training ground for spiritual and human growth, the importance of the human family, which is many times a great problem in the contemporary times. But we have also, we see also here the special bond, the only one between the son and the mother. We see their, also their diversity. Mary is full of grace, the creature chosen by uh, God, to be the uh, house, the tabernacle of Christ, the living God. And uh, also we see the encounter of the natural and the supernatural bond that unites Mary and Jesus, a bond that is strengthened precisely over time in their relationship which grew and strengthened in their family in Nazareth. So Jesus was also formed in a way by this grace, Mary's grace, what she has received, and accompanied her son, Jesus, in her growth, in his maturity as a human person, making him truly a credible savior who has sympathy with us, his brothers and sisters, as it is beautifully expressed in the second reading today from the letter to the Hebrews that he is united with us not only as a God but also as a human person and his becoming like us enables him to be with us and knows our being human. What can we learn from this feast today. One of the, the uh, obvious thing here is that the obedience of the Holy Family, Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, their obedience in doing the will of God, and also the will of God that that is expressed in their religious traditions where they fulfilled what the law, the religious customs, traditions, 
dictated. And it is also in this context of openness, of obedience, where they found the affirmation of their identity and their mission. And they have discovered no, and affirmed of the identity of this child no, with the proclamation, with the prophecy they heard from Simeon and Anna. It is because they were obedient, they were open to God, to His will expressed in the good and enduring tradition. As we live our life, our Christian life, sometimes we are tempted to ah, mga, to uh, deny or maybe to leave behind things, good traditions, for example, thinking that it has passé, tapos na, mga luma ng gawain niya. But it is precisely in adhering to those good and beautiful traditions of family, of prayer, for example, in, in the family, tradition of meeting together as a family and recovering this and strengthening these traditions that we have, for example, as Filipino Catholics, you know, wherever we are, there we find the affirmation also of our identity, of our vocation, of our mission as Christians, as followers of Christ. May our celebration, our following of Christ, of those beautiful and good traditions that we have, enable us to be strengthened in our following of Christ, just as Mary and Joseph were strengthened in their vocation as parents of Jesus because they were open, they were obedient to God's will and to the traditions, religious traditions. May the Lord be our light for He is our light in our daily struggle of uh, Christian life. And that is the meaning precisely of every time we pray. Why do we pray with the candles lighted? Is precisely to remind us that we are not alone. Hindi yan uh, anting-anting yung mga uh, binasbasan nating kandila. These are reminders of the light of Christ, that Christ is our light and that our journey and our relationship with the Father, we have Christ who strengthens and enlightens us. So every time, therefore, you light the candle, it is to remind you na hindi ka nag-iisa, na kasama mo ang liwanag ni Kristo. And may we grow in our confidence and faith in Him. Amen.